What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Aries Zodiac sign. This is your August 2021 reading. Guys, let me apologize ahead of time. I am so, so sorry for not uploading like I normally do. Um, things have been a little chaotic, okay? <laughs> I've been getting my kids ready for school. My son is starting kindergarten. The Wheel of Fortune wanted to pop out, but I'm going to put it back in there, okay? Um, if it comes back out, it comes back out. My son has started kindergarten, so uh, I've been having to get all of his stuff together and ready. School shopping, okay, just a lot of chaos. But I am back in action, guys. And so hopefully by this weekend, I will back, be back to my regular uploading schedule, which is every morning. And let me just say, guys, this is a generating, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross them if you need to. Please flip them. Spirit has given me a new um, layout that they wanted me to do tonight, so I'm going to do that for you. Let's see, clarify the energy of Aries, please. What is going on with Aries, please, for the month of August? Thank you. 2021, what is going on with Aries for the month of August? Thank you. 2021, what is going on with Aries? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. And the bottom is Five of Cups. Okay, so there is a bit of reflection on the past here, looking at past situations, past connections. Past disappointments, things that didn't work out or didn't fall through here. If you would just turn around, you would see that there's opportunities in front of you. But um, you are kind of looking back on the past. And it could have a lot to do with this Page of Swords energy. Because this Page of Swords is all about um, research, you know, gaining knowledge here. Searching things out, stalking type of energy as well. Um, so I still feel like you're gathering some type of information. Could be about a past person or a past connection here that was once cut off. Because we do have the Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Or that you did cut off or they cut you off. Um, but it looks to me like somebody might have turned their back to a connection here. A Six of Cups connection. This could also be maybe you know cutting off a family member. Or uh, a friend. Maybe their past actions didn't add up to you. Hmm. Let's see. Clarify the page of swords for Aries for the month of August 2021. What is this page of swords energy for my Aries for the month of August? Seven of swords. Ah. So, you're gaining the knowledge because you know somebody been doing some sneaky shit. That's why. Something ain't adding up for you. So you're trying to get the research. You're trying to get the, the thank you, evidence. <laughs> they said evidence. <laughs> you're trying to get the evidence that you need for the sneaky ish here. Somebody could have be, uh, betrayed you in some sort of way or fashion that was actually close to you that you really seen as like a family member or a um, someone that you cared about. Okay, there was an emotional connection here that you cared about, you know. But somebody could be doing something shady to you and it comes up in the month of August here. Because we do have the Seven of Swords energy. Now, if this isn't... No, they said no. That's the story. Okay. Well, we're going to keep it then. All right. Clear for the Six of Cups here. What is this about for Aries for the month of August? No, let's do the Queen of Swords. Clear for the Queen of Swords for Aries for the month of August 2021. Mm, King of Cups. Okay. So this could have been someone that you did have an emotional connection to, okay? You really cared about. This could have been a mature type of person, maybe like a father figure, grandfather figure. Um, it could have been your lover, someone that was very mature. You were supposed to be in it to the end. But there was a cutting away. Somebody cut off the other person. Two of Cups could have been your twin flame. Two of Cups energy is here. Mmm, Five of Swords. Hey. This is a, a loss, okay? This is like self-sabotage. This is a loss. This is um, the energy of resentment as well with this Five of Swords. Like, dang, I can't believe that person did that to me. That really sucks, you know? Mm. So something could definitely be coming to the light in the month of August, Aries, for you. Where you realize that somebody was either uh, dishonest to you or doing something sneaky behind your bag and you did not like it. You might have had to do a little research, but you actually got the information that you needed to find out what this was. And um, you're going to be cutting them away. Okay, so a lot of you, you could be ending up um, having a breakup with a lover or a family member of some sort here. Or someone that... Um, why are, they, why are they saying mentor? Mentoring. Mentor. Mm. Okay. Let's keep going. Clarify the energy of Aries for the month of August 2021. 
Ace of Cups energy. Okay. Clarify the energy of Aries for the month of August 2021. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the energy of Aries for the month of August 2021. And the Star card. Okay. King of Swords. Look. Counterpart energy. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, okay? But this is also you thinking intellectually, thinking mind over heart decision, okay? And if you look at the top of this throne, okay, there are butterflies. So that tells me that there's some type of transformation that's going on here. There's like a death and a rebirth, you know, with the uh, butterflies as well. The Ace of Cups here, this is a love opportunity, you know, a love connection here, the start of something. But I'm seeing it below the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. So this tells me you could have started um, a relationship with someone and they were being dishonest. And you found out some stuff and that's why it's leading to this disconnect, okay? Um, this could have been a relationship that um, you you started with this person you really gave a lot to. I mean, it was overflowing abundance. It was very happy. It was very loving. A lot of emotions there. You know, you guys were um, um, creating milestones or stepping stones in this relationship. But then I see this Queen of Pentacles here underneath the Six of Cups. So for some of you, you could have children or you're very nurturing and caring when it comes to love. Like you are very giving with your energy. But I see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, they're, they're, they're saying fertile. So for a lot of you, you're either pregnant now or um, you've had kids with them already. But I'm seeing you in this Queen of Pentacles energy um, where you're giving your energy to your found, your uh, finances. Thank you, Spirit. I, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I didn't know what I was trying to say. That your finances, okay? Your, found, your stability, your foundation here. And then we have the Star card. So this is telling me you are going through some healing, okay? You could be working on your yourself, pouring love back into yourself, okay? Coming back into balance, being optimistic, you know, thinking positively. But... Um, Definitely healing when it comes to this Queen of Swords and the King of Cups because there was a connection that got cut away. You guys could stop, um, actually stop speaking to this person um, and they stopped speaking to you. It could have had a lot to do with maybe they had several options with the Seven of Cups. They could have, oh, yep, yep, yep. The Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, which is the Everything is Fine, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Swords. This person could have had several options, and that could have been what that sneaking around was, that Seven of Swords energy, um, Seven and Seven. You could have been one of their options, you know, they're, they're with you sometime, and then they're texting other people, or they're messaging other people. and Because the Page of Swords is all about, like, g gaining the, the um, evidence, you know. When a Page of Swords go into, goes into a situation, they gain everything, you know, paper trail. Is it, thank you, paper trail. You know, documentation, okay, text messages, emails, mail, okay, it could be mail, um, things like that. But something wasn't adding up, and you were like, oh, no, okay, and this is, again, this is the month of August going on for you here. Let's see. Tell me more about Aries for the month of August 2021. What is going on? Two of Cups energy. Clarify the energy of Aries for the month of August 2021. The sun card. And that's one to come out in reverse. Okay. Clarify the energy of, all, of Aries for the month of August. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you. You were focused more on your finances now. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Seven of Cups here. Mm. So now you're looking at options. Now, yep, there it is. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. This is why. This person had options. Two of Cups energy. This was someone you were very connected to. Okay, this could have been a Twin Flame energy. Um, here because it's the two of cups the ace of cups the page of swords and seven of swords this was someone you really cared about you had a real deep connection with you were vibing with here again I, they were giving me stepping stones so i feel like you have moved forward a lot with this person when it comes to this connection and then the sun is coming in reverse so this is telling me it was once a happy connection but it is not a happy connection anymore Okay, things kind of just went sour, okay, is what they're giving me. And now you're focused on your money here with this Ace of Pentacles energy. As you're going through this healing, you're going through this new start, this new foundation. You're building something new, completely new. They're showing me a building that um, that's nothing but like bricks falling down. And then there's a foundation there. So you're starting over your foundation. You're starting over your stability here when it comes to uh, this brand new beginning. Okay, with this Ace of Pentacles. It's like you have something to start on. Right, you have something to start on, but 
there's just you're not going to use the old bricks right is what i'm getting for you i see you're the queen of pentacles so you have your finances you have your money you have your job you have um your own uh stability but you're not going to be building you're not going to be living in the same foundation that you built with somebody else it's more of like not saying that you're going to sell your house or whatever but like you're starting a beginning but you're not starting it empty-handed okay here's what i'm getting for you all right so let's see what else do you have for aries in the month of august 2021 what else do you have for aries in the month of august 2021 well so let's do one more. What else do you have for Aries in the month of August 2020? All right. So we have wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. Okay. Wishing up on the star. Wishes coming true. You know, things happening for you here. This new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Going through the healing. Yeah, stuff didn't work out. That's okay. That's all right. But you're still wishing for um, a better opportunity here. Or you're wishing for a new start here. With something so that wish is coming through coming true in the month of august whatever this is okay i don't feel like it's like fix this connection because i'm seeing it queen of swords and king of cups i see that kind of like sliced down the middle and that's it so whatever this new beginning is you could be wishing like hey you know i really wish that i could start off new somewhere or maybe get a new place or maybe start um a new relationship a new beginning a new job whatever it is okay i see you starting it new and the wishes is, is coming through or coming true Okay, and then we have the luck card. So you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So look at there. Luck is on your side. All right, the universe is saying, all right, Aries, I'm here for you. Okay, you got something valuable that you could build over here. So go for it. You know, go for it. Yeah, this person sucks. Whatever this is, whatever they did to you, it really sucks. It's okay. Walk away from it. It's going to be all right. Okay. Spirit's letting you know it's going to be all right with this. Everything is fine. It's not It's not just the Ten of Swords card. This deck comes with two. And this one says everything is fine. So, yes, you had to abandon a connection. But everything's okay. You still got more opportunities and more options out here. Don't think that there's nothing else out here for you. You have so many opportunities available for you. So, don't feel like, oh, that was the only opportunity I ever had was with this person to build something with them. No, 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 no. They were just one of many. OK, they think they think they got a whole bunch of options. All right. Just wait until they see how many options you have. OK, <laughs> so this is your reading Aries. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.